In this video, you'll learn how to add images to your ebook in Kutubi Author. So, from a blank book, we'll choose the default uh, chapter layout as reflowable. Now, there are two ways to add images. The first easy way is to choose your image from your computer, desktop, or from any f uh, folder and simply drag it inside the page. I'll show you a dialog box for images. Click on create, and that's it. In the case of a fixed layout, actually let's add a fixed layout chapter. We'll do the same way. You can see with fixed layout, you can position things around as you wish. In our case, we have snap selected and we have a grid. If you turn these off, you can you have smoother uh, positioning of the image. Okay. Now, double click on the image let me expand this. You have options here that you can set. For example, the width and height, you can set these explicitly as uh, pixels. If you don't like that, you can resize the image as such from here using the mouse. Now, text trap is something important in reflowable layout. Now, as we mentioned in another video, uh, Layouts in uh, reflowable chapters is a bit tricky because uh, things are linear and s uh, you, you can't easily uh, overlap uh, or stack elements on top of each other. So if you have text, you can see that the image is pushed downwards. Okay. Now by default, the image consumes a whole line, so no text can come around the image. Now. Uh, most times you'd want text to wrap around the image. So if you double click on the image and text wrap, you can select to push left or push, push right. Now if you push uh, right, for example, the text will come on the left and vice versa. So let's choose that, edit, and you can see now you have the image on the right and you can carry on typing. And uh, of course we're, we're writing very small words and short, uh, short uh, uh, small let uh, few uh, only few letters, but um, uh, in the real world you'll have uh, paragraphs that will wrap nicely and uh, reach uh, to the end or to the edge of the image. And once the image is finished, it will continue to the end of the line. Now let's go back again and uh, double click on the image. You have the margin, the margin, and the spacing around the image. And then you have some animations, animation effects. Those animation effects would show once you click, once the user clicks on the image. So by default, it's none. You have a wiggle, like a vibration animation effect. You have a jumping effect, so the uh, image moves vertically. You have a scale, which uh, makes the image scale, uh, zooms in and out. So we'll choose wiggle just as an example. Now you won't be able to see anything here, but you have to go to preview to see uh, everything in action, all your interactions to be in action, click on the image. You can see that it vibrates. Okay, now back again. Now if you click on, if you choose none uh, so that you have no animations, you have the option to display the image in a pop-up. Now this will only appear or this will only take effect if the, if the ebook is running inside Kutubi Reader or if the ebook is running as an indep independent app. So if you're exporting an EPUB, this will not work. It has to be an app, like a web app, a desktop app, a mobile app, exported from Kotobi Author. So edit, go to customize just to check it out. And click on it, and there you have. 